Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your members, subscribers, followers, donations to pop up when you're live streaming with Streamlabs OBS. Coming up next in the Streamlabs tutorial. So this is very easy to do. I'm gonna make this video quick and easy for you guys to understand. So if you wanna get your live followers, subscribers, memberships, donations to pop up on your stream, what you need to add is called an alert box. So how do we add that? If you go under sources on Streamlabs OBS and then go to this plus icon right here, then under widgets, it will be called alert box and it says essential right by it. Then let's go down to add source. We can name this what we want, but I'm going to leave it at alert box, add source. And here we have all the different settings for the alert box. On the left hand side here under global settings, you can see everything that is activated. So if you get raids, super chat subscribers that pop up on your stream. So when you get a new donation follower or something, if you have a check mark to the right, they're going to pop up on your stream. So everything is check marked. And on the right hand side under layout, you can see three different options. You got the picture on top, text underneath. Then the second one, you have the picture with the text inside of it. And the third one, you have the picture to the left and the text to the right of it. And at any point in time, you want to go ahead and test your donation so far. You can go ahead and hit this test widget and then hit the donation option to the next side of it. And you can see your this is a test donation for a dollar test donation pop up and then under sources and settings, you'll have your general settings for your widget. So go through here and set this up. I'm just going to leave most of this at default. And under sources, if you want to control the audio via OBS, go ahead and select this mark right here. So on the left hand side, under the global settings area for your alerts, let's go ahead and select an alert. So unfortunately, this may be a little bit more painstaking for setting up your media, your graphics for each of these. Uh, if you look, if I go under bits, I'll have a bunch of different options for my bits. I can just select this one from the drop down window real quick. But if I go on the right hand side now, once I have uh, the alert check marked, I can go to title messages, media, animations, donor message, alert settings. I can change the font in here, the size, the text color, text background. Then if I go to media, I can change the graphic that pops up. So let's go to change media and I like the Pokemon one I had up before let's go back to that one so here it is right here and there's a bunch of these so go through here and find the one you want I'm gonna go ahead and copy that one then go to done then you can also change the sound file and I typically change the sound file to something that I have on my computer let's go to the stock files on the bottom here and just go to all files Otherwise, you can go to my uploads and find something on your computer. So I have all the files. So let's go ahead and select this guy right here. Everything's copied over. And you can change the volume underneath the sound file right here. Now, if we go down to animation, you can have it fade and fade out. The alert duration, if you want it a little bit longer than 10 seconds. Uh, wiggle animation for the text. I'm going to leave it there. Let's go over to donor message. If you want to show the message, go ahead and check mark this right here. And the font size, if you want to allow Twitch emojis, enable text to speech whenever you get a new bit. So check mark that if you want the text to be uh, spoken by a computer voice. Then you get the volume right here and spam security if you don't want someone spamming weird numbers or symbols repeatedly. Then alert settings. The minimote to trigger the alert. Variation condition randomly. If you want a set amount of bits to activate the alert pop up, go ahead and go to this option right here. You can set it maybe like to uh, $5, for example. So anything less than that won't have a pop up. So look at this. Now, that's just for the bits. Now, you'll have to go through all these different alerts on the left hand side and set these up individually. Uh, there is no global setting to just have you know, one option like the little Pikachu face. So you're going to have to go through your followers and do the same thing by going through the media and changing everything out here. So let's go back to my bits and do the test donation right here. So I have donation popped up. So it's going to go ahead. 
This we'll is look stuff like this again. Dollar. So that's for my donations. And then on the upper left hand side, you do have the option to adjust your width and height and use a custom frame. Then if you're into HTML, you have the option to enable this and edit it yourself. So once you have everything you, the way you want it, go ahead and hit the done button down here on the bottom right hand side and your alert box, position this on your live stream where you want it. I typically just have it right in the middle. You can make it a little bit smaller here. So don't forget to add your alert box to every scene you have. If you have two different like scenes you stream on, like a talking one or a game stream, go ahead and add the alert box to both of those scenes. And on the bottom left hand side, if you go to the dashboard, it's going to open up a web browser and it's going to bring you to your streamlabs.com dashboard. Under here on the feature sections on the left hand side, if you go to the alert box, you'll have very similar settings on here to go ahead and adjust those different settings for the alerts. One thing I want to show you where the alert box, you can get custom alerts on Streamlabs OBS. So if you look at this one right here, you can have alerts that pop up kind of like this when someone donates or uh, someone follows you. And that's one of the great things about Streamlabs OBS. You have tons of different widget themes that you can go ahead and look through. So I'm on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and check mark the alert box under the widget section. And you can even search by color. So if I want a blue widget, let's go ahead and select that. So I'm only seeing the blue alerts that will pop up. This one is kind of cool right here. This one I believe is a paid one though. So you'll have to buy this. And most of them I would say are free. This one looks pretty cool. All you would have to do from there on out is just hit the install button. And everything you kind of see right here will pop up when someone follows you or prompts an alert. So go ahead and look at the custom themes on Streamlabs OBS. If you're just on the Streamlabs application, it will be the second option down on the upper left hand side of the screen. Just go to themes and I'll get you to this page. So if this video did indeed help you out setting up your followers, donations, and subscribers popping up on your screen, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Streamlabs OBS tutorials coming up next on Your Six Studios.